Welcome to Hollywood Headlines. I'm Chrissy Cunningham, and tonight we're going to be talking about the latest news in Hollywood, starting with Taylor Swift's new album, Midnight's. Hollywood Headlines starts right now. Before we get into the show, I just want to take a moment to thank Eddie Munson for being today's guest. <laughs> the highly anticipated album Midnight's by Taylor Swift was released at midnight on October 21st. The album has broke many records so far, with it becoming the top-selling album of the year in just one day of sales and breaking Spotify's record for most streams in a day. Taylor surprised her fans even more by releasing a deluxe version of the album three hours later, calling it Midnight's 3 a.m. edition. She also released two extravagant music videos for two of her songs, which included cameos with one of them being Jurassic World actress Laura Dern. The Midnight's album is also on track to sell well over one million copies in its first week. Georgia, have you listened to the album yet? And if so, what is your favorite song? I've listened to some of it. Not okay. not all of it. I Ruby's gonna Ruby's a big Taylor Swift Who's fan, Ruby? guys. Sorry, Chrissy yeah. is a big Taylor Swift fan, guys. Um, so I feel like I'm gonna get slandered. But I've only listened to a couple songs, and they were ones that you sent me. Yes. I listened to Karma. I listened to Antihero, and I listened to um, Lavender Haze. Yes. Because I heard those were the best three, mm -hmm. and they were good. I like them. I like Karma a lot. Yes. That's catchy. That one makes me just want to like. Go like that. Yeah. I would say those three are definitely my top fave. Yeah. Um, literally all of them. I'm a huge Swifty and yeah. I was so excited for this album. I actually she went, was. I I went to a uh, bookstore listening yes. party at midnight, which, which is was so special. A dream come true. Yeah. And what do you think about this album breaking so many records? That doesn't surprise me. No. Taylor Swift, here's the thing I'm not a Swifty. I do like a couple of her songs. Like I, and I respect her a lot as a musician because, like, what she does is insane. Like the way that she redid all of her albums, some of her albums, the way that she like has a 3 a.m. version and she has like, she's stacked. Yeah. Like she's been playing this for a while. And I also see things on TikTok that's like, she said Midnight's and like her other albums to like hint it. I'm like, how long have you had this planned? She, like I respect her a lot and what she does. She so I'm not a, surprised. As one of the song titles, Mastermind. She's uh, literally a mastermind. Yeah. She, she thinks of everything and it's so, Fun, but also stressful being like a very intense Swifty because yeah. literally every day I wake up and I'm like, what did she do today? Yeah, What did she do today? Uh -huh. But I, I absolutely love it and I think it's 100% worth the hype. And I, I love it. That's all that matters. It really is. From a true Swifty herself. Yep. When we come back from the break, we'll be talking about the new My Policeman movie. Hollywood Headlines will be right back. Welcome back to Hollywood Headlines. The new My Policeman movie came out on October 21st in select theaters. It stars Harry Styles as Tom and Emma Corrin as Marion, who is best known for portraying Princess Diana in the Netflix series The Crown. The movie takes place in the 1950s and follows Tom, who is a policeman falling in love with Marion. Tom later on has a secret affair with a museum curator named Patrick, and Tom is hoping that Marion never finds out. The movie will be showing in select theaters for a limited time up until the movie premieres on Amazon Prime Video on November 4th. Georgia, have you seen this movie yet? And if not, are you planning to watch it? I haven't seen it, but I am planning on watching it because Harry yes. Styles, obviously. Yes. You know, we, yeah. saw, we saw Don't Worry Darling. We did. Harry's in his, his actor era, he if is. you will. So proud of him. But yeah, I'll definitely watch it, especially it says it came to, to it's coming to Prime. Yeah. So I'll watch it on Prime. Exactly. Movie night. What do you think? about Harry being an actor kind of str like obviously he's still big yes. in the music industry mm -hmm. with his album but like now he's just taking another turn Listen, you know I support him yeah I think I like it you know yeah. he's not the best and don't worry darling there were a couple times when I giggled because I was yeah. like I can't take you seriously but you know he's good he's better than you know freaking what's the one show that's really bad um there's a lot of shows. The one with Cole Sprouse in it. 
Riverdale. Riverdale. It's better than He's Riverdale. better than the Riverdale actors. I'm, I stand by that. So true. But you know, I, I'm i proud of him. He was in Dunkirk. Yeah. I saw mm -hmm. that. Now he's in his new era. In he was MCU in the era. one episode of uh, iCarly. I Carly. He was fantastic in that. Yes. His... He's going to be in the MCU. Yeah. Yeah. So he's really making a splash. They're going to replace him in that. Really? Right? That's none of my business. We'll, yeah. we'll have updates. On I'll that. definitely be watching. I'll definitely be watching awesome. My Policeman. Maybe we'll do a little review on Hollywood yes. headlines. A little segment. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew Perry, the actor known best for playing Chandler Bing in the hit NBC sitcom Friends, has written a memoir called Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. The memoir, which comes out November 1st, details Matthew's previous drug and alcohol addiction and how he overcame it with the help of his friends. He's currently scheduled to go on a book tour, making stops in cities such as Washington, D.C. on November 6th. Georgia, are you a fan of Matthew Perry? Definitely. Friends, Chandler, yeah. literally top three favorite characters. Yes. I always have a trouble rank I always have trouble ranking my favorite Friends characters, but he's up there. Yeah. He's up there. And I know that, like I heard a lot after Friends came out that he had struggled with drug addiction and things like that. And that like kind of hindered, I mean it didn't hinder his performance because he's so slayed as Chandler oh, yeah. Bing. But like he he has said that like he doesn't remember like the last couple seasons yeah. of Friends, like it was that bad. It's so sad. And it's cool that, I mean, I'm assuming, I don't know this for sure, but I'm assuming he's in a better place now mm -hmm. if he's writing a memoir. So it's it's cool that he's kind of going to come forward and, and talk about this, yeah. I think. I know I watched the like memoir or the the 20 year reunion mm, video. Yep. I don't know if it was 20 years. I just was on HBO, the one on HBO yeah, Max. The, yeah, the memorial yep. video, mm -hmm. and you could definitely tell in it that like he's been through a yeah. lot. He was just looked exhausted, but like he's still the same Matthew Perry that yes. we grew up watching and that we loved watching. And I don't know. I just think it's amazing. And how do you think you're gonna? I know you're not a big reader. If it's an audio book, maybe. Maybe. Would you be interested? Yeah. I'll read it out loud to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And we can read it. <laughs> yes. I would read it yeah. if I read. Maybe I will. Who knows? Yeah. I'm interested in the topic. I, I just think a character and, a, and an actor that influential like in our lives, I mean, I've rewatched Friends probably five oh, or yeah. six comfort times. Comfort show, comfort show. Yeah, and just kind of hearing the struggles he went through. And also we'll probably hear a little bit more behind the scenes about friends yeah. in it as well. And, and how, how they, they were him. impacted. Yeah. yeah, and how they helped him through it, definitely. So, definitely an interesting sounding book worth, and I'm, worth I'm checking excited out. to read it. Yeah. <laughs> when we come back from the break, we will be playing Hollywood Hot Seat. Hollywood Headlines will be right back. Welcome back. As the Midnight's album came out just last week, we are going to be playing a Taylor Swift version of Hollywood Hot Seat. Georgia, in the next 20 <laughs> seconds, you will try to name all of the songs on the Midnight's album. No. <laughs> Here are some clarifications, just some ground rules. You don't have to include any of the songs from the 3 a.m. edition. I don't and know the, the songs, difference. <laughs> the songs don't have to be in any particular order. Georgia, are you ready? Your time starts now. Yeah, uh, Anti Hero, Lavender Haze, Karma. Um, there was one about Bejeweled, uh, <laughs> you said a name of one earlier too. How many do I have the name? Can I, can I stop the, like I'm done. That's all I know. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop the count. I don't know. I give up. <laughs> Good job. I did pretty well. I'm proud of you. I haven't listened to it. I think yeah. I did pretty well for not. For not having listened yeah. to it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Oh, gosh. <laughs> when we come back from the break, we will be talking about the new Disney movie, Strange World. Hollywood Headlines will be right back. Disney's new movie, Strange World, is being released at the end of November. The animated film uses the voices of Jake Gyllenhaal, Dennis Quaid, Jabuki Youngwhite, Gabrielle Union, and Lucy Liu. It follows the main character, Searcher Clade, a farmer who comes from a long line of explorers. He is forced to tackle his family's hardest mission yet, a trip to the land of Avalonia. Georgia, what are your thoughts about this upcoming new movie? I'm interested in it. I feel like I remember talking about this phenomenon that I'm going to say in a minute. Last episode we were on, I like going into Disney movies not knowing what they are. Yeah. Just to see what it is. I, I yeah. like going into movies not knowing what they are because there's no expectations. Like, mm -hmm. this is random, but I remember when I saw Frozen, I had no idea what it was about. 
You go in with no expectations, there's nowhere to go but up. And I feel like with I this haven't even movie, heard of this. I watched the trailer, I have seen the trailer, and it looks like a sci-fi kind of adventure movie. Okay. It's giving the vibe of like a wrinkle in time. Have yeah. you seen that? Yeah, I think so. I don't know why, because there's not time. Is there time travel in a wrinkle in time? Probably. Yeah, a wrinkle in time. Yeah, time travel. That would make sense. It's give, but there's no time travel in Strange World that I know of. Interesting. But like just the vibe, you know, yeah. the creatures, Aesthetic. the mis mysterious land. That's what that's what I pictured when I saw it. Yeah, um, and it's, it's, it's there's like it also talks about like family dynamic oh, because good. like he's a farmer, but his dad is like some sort of like wizard, I think. Oh. And he's like he he never wanted to be a part of that, which is why he's a mm -hmm. farmer. Interesting. So in this movie, he has to go on an adventure. Cool. Well, I'm I'm excited to watch this. It has a stacked cast, obviously. Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm not a you Jake Gyllenhaal him. fan as a Swifty. <laughs> he. No, but Dennis Quaid, he's like one of my like celebrity old man crushes. Ooh. I love Dennis okay. Quaid. Mm, sorry You'll about have it. To go see it so, so you can I hear will his voice. be yeah, just to hear him talk yep. the whole time. Excellent. <laughs> In a not a creepy way. <laughs> Actor and comedian Leslie Jordan has died at the age of 67. He was best known for being on the sitcom Will and Grace, as well as American Horror Story on FX. He gained a lot of popularity over the pandemic by posting heartwarming content to his Instagram and Twitter. Many celebrities took to social media to honor his legacy with Leslie's Will and Grace co-star Megan Mullally calling him a flawlessly funny and fun-loving person. Georgia, have you seen any of Leslie Jordan's work? Yeah. I have. She's very upset about this. I I feel like I'm losing my grandpa. I saw that man on my For You page every day. And you know, sometimes he was he was goofy. You know, so I, there's a video of him like twirling a baton. Um, just no matter if I saw him, I'm like, okay, my grandfather is here. Everything's gonna be okay. You know, he'd be funny or he'd be like, hey, like have a great day. That's so sweet. I believe in That's you. so special. And the fact that he's dead now, I don't want to talk about it. May he be. But we have to may he rest it's the in peace forever. Yeah. Gone forever, but never gone. Or yeah. You know the thing. Gone, but never I, forgotten. I knew the name, but if you asked me anything about him, I would have been like, no. Are you kidding me? I I know. I'm do you very know who embarrassed. He is? If I show you a now. picture right now, would you be? I mean, I looked him up when he died because okay. I was like, who is this? Well, that's I feel a so up. embarrassed. I feel like I failed you But you know, rest in peace. You, yeah. I'm gonna have to go back and watch all of his TikToks yeah. now in memoriam of yeah. Leslie Jordan. But it won't be the same. It won't. It won't. He's so. an icon. He's a legend. And, and that's all we have to say about it. That's all you have that to say about it. That is all we have to say about it. So that's all we have for tonight, but make sure to come back for the latest news in Hollywood. A big thank you to Eddie Munson for coming to today's show. Hey <laughs> I'm Chrissy Cunningham, and have a great weekend, Millersville.